keep out of reach of children. Well, I can't see any children around here. So I guess we can have a look at Kirby shampooing. My first ever time. And I'm using some suitably vintage shampoo look from, well, in 1997. See if it still works. <laughs> Hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, I'm going to break my Kirby shampooing virginity and we'll see if all the shampooing bits for The Legend 2 actually work. Now I should be following the instructions, not its instructions, the ones that came with my heritage, although I think we'll be alright because it's going to be exactly the same system, just in a different colour. So we best check that we got all the parts, hadn't we? We have some Kirby Instant Suds. Well, it's now called Kirby Carpet Shampoo. Tick. What else? Oh no, wait, that's... Uh... Hmm, it doesn't actually go into the shampooer. Ooh, we don't get, you don't get a shampoo with the Heritage 2. That goes into the rug renovator. No, it does. So I presume the rug renovator is all of this. Not that. Actually, yes, that. We have the tank. We need the tank. Fine, sit there. The, ooh, the shampoo tray with an incredibly worn looking belt, actually. Oh, yes, we, we need to change the belt on that. So we've got the tray, which has been damp before, I think. So we have the tray. Have the suds suds o gun. We'll have a play with that. And the hose. And I think I need to quickly take this off of the rug renovator. And we'll have its belt because it's got an alright belt. So we'll put that there. And we need to assemble it really. Let's see how we do that. Right, step one. If the heritage has been used as a portable, it hasn't. So, we need to fit the hand. We need to unhook the bag and remove the sunny emptor. Right, so. I have vacuumed before doing this, so I'm not going to vacuum beforehand because we've done that already. Place the nozzle belt lifter to the right. Okay. Oh yeah, first, actually, before we go too far, oh, we need a screwdriver. Oh, blimey. Right, hang on. We, we need lovely set. We need a cross head. Because we need to undo the screws on this. Why is that not turning? Is it turning the entire axle by any chance? Yes, it is. That's not very handy. Don't do that. We best have a screwdriver on each end. Ow. This is a little bit awkward. There we go. One. That will be enough. No, there's a lot of crud around here. That's the end of one side. I believe that all of that stuff shouldn't be there, but the remain that washer should. So we'll keep that washer. Just pick off all the bits from it. As best as I can anyway, okay. Um, how do... Oh, hang on. Ah! Ah! Ooh! There you are. It just pulls off. Well, we may as well give it a little light service. So now I can grip the axle. Right, that's not going to come off with just my hands. So obviously there's lots of bits on this side as well. So let's just see if we can pick... The worst of that off. There we go. 
crikey, is that what's left of that? I think it is, you know, I reckon that and that were the same piece. Because here, look, there's the remains, that's the other side of this. That side hasn't got one because it popped out. Well, that's interesting. Well, we'll take this belt out. Crikey. Can't see any writing on it, but it's mainly just that massive crack that's causing the issue. So there we go. Here is the carpet brush. I must, I'm going to use this set, but as you know, I did get two shampoo kits with this. So I think a slight degree of making two out of one is going to be the order of the day here. I do think that is the right thing to do. Um, oh. The axle's not coming. Ow! God, that's very really sharp. This isn't very easy. Uh, let me pause and see if I can do this off camera. Right, this is a little bit impossible. Because I can't get that end off, I can't push the axle through that hole because it won't ever be straight. It's, ba it's sat down there at the minute, and if I flip it down, it goes to up there. So, I cheated and got the other one out of the box. A, it has a perfect belt on it. Overall, it's a lot less worn, a lot, lot less worn. The only difference really is that this has a clear cover and this has a black cover. So, I'm, I'm just going to use this. So, place the nozzle belt lifter to the right, blah, 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 blah. That then sits over here, I think, in between, yeah, that looks about right, in between the rubber cups. Yeah, so the groove on the end of the shaft, bumper, etc. Done. So now we can lift the belt, grab and lift the belt. Oh Christ. Um, That's very stiff. That's a very new belt. So there we go. And that's really difficult to get hold of. I'll just I'll dig my hand look. Ow. So there we go. So we've done that part. Assembling nozzle and tray to power plant. There is a full scan of this actually on my blog, this exact manual, and the legend one. So we basically need to take off the cleaning head, so we'll lift its belt, swap that off and put that there, and then fit this belt, this head. Which I think is on properly, hang on. Yep, we're good. And release the belt. There we go, and put the lens down. So, that part is done. Installing the tank and hose. Slide the tank over the air outlet. Ooh. Well first, oh, right, right. There is a filter there, but, uh, yeah. There was a filter there. Now, there is not, because it is now powder. I think I think I'm working out now which bits to keep and which bits to not keep because here's the other tank and its filter isn't a hundred percent better although I will very easily be able to make a new bit of sponge but I'm just going to fit that back in there for now yeah you can tell which one of these has had the most use where are we? There. Yeah. There's also a little filter here, which seems to be a piece of cloth. 
with some dirt. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> ah. That seems fine. So we'll put those back in there like that. Twist the tank on, okay. Yep. Then push the straight part of the hose, which I presume is that part there, onto the out. I see. Yep. And then I'm going to take a massive stab in the dark that this bit goes there. I think it does from the pictures I have seen. Right. Remove the large cap from the tank. That is, I presume, a large cap. Fill it with suds. Ooh. Well, see, I don't really want to use that much. There's three lines. But I don't quite know what it does. Remove the last cap from the tank. Fill the cap with Kirby Instant Suds. Well. Let's just put one cap for then. Because it seems a bit of a waste. Especially for the little bit that I'm going to be doing. But it doesn't say how much water to put in there. Pour this into the tank and repeat with another cap for so That's two, which it says is four ounces. Before assembly to the cleaner, but we just assembled it. You can't say that now, mate. I'm just going to pour it over the jug. Up to the fill line, marked on the side. Well, there's three fill lines. Oh, I see. Yeah, let's have a little bit for luck. <laughs> there you go. I'm just going to stick two jugs of water in that. Hang on. And here we are, filled up, mixed. And I'm going to see what happens really. So this will raised up. We're going to turn it on and see what it's like.
pretty good. It's really brought the pile up well. And it's not too wet either. Lots of lovely floaty bubbles. And I'll show you that in a minute, the state of the tank. I'm gonna wash my hands, just blow those bubbles off of those books and we'll pop back into the bedroom and wait for this to dry. Well, I am very impressed. I'm impressed because I didn't quite know what to expect, which helps. The little filter has decided to wedge itself into this hose. So that's a thing. But that's pretty good. The amount of crap that came out of this hose when I turned it on. I probably should have washed it first, but it'll be fine. It would have cleaned itself out. We obviously didn't use much for any solution at all. But I haven't quite got the time to be going properly through all this today. I'll have to do that another day. Let's take the head off and it's all bone dry back there which is amazing really this is what it's picked up there's that is pretty grey and pretty foul but yeah for not quite knowing what to expect I'm quite impressed really and truthfully one thing I do want to try though is the Sudzo gun so let me find the hose and we'll see how this works. So here we go, we have our hose, we'll pop that on there. And then I think all we do with this is literally fill it full of solution, which I shall tip out of here so I don't waste it. There we go. Pop the lid back on there. In fact, I wonder if I shake that around, it will wash the inside of this thing out because it's quite dirty. So here is the Sudzo gun. Don't quite know what all those holes are for. I don't intend to find out now. And then basically, I think that's very back heavy. I think that's all we do. Let's see. I have just been incredibly, incredibly stupid, haven't I? Luckily, that didn't suck it through. Um, let's connect it to the blower port. That might be a good idea. I'm such a clumsy idiot. Right, let's just pop this on here. I'm, I'm, a, I'm quite glad that didn't suck all that through. Right, so we'll connect it to the blowing end. That might be a good thing to do. Numpty. And we'll try again. It, never take that cap off and then blow because I'm just blowing suds everywhere but that's they're, they're wetter they do feel wetter than the carpet does we'll rub that in we'll see what happens should it burn my little cut on my hand <laughs> there we go Marvellous, yeah, that's that's quite fun, really. I mean, I think, I, I'm sure I've read that this is supposed to do something, but 
it doesn't seem to be doing much. So we'll leave that for now. But yeah, they're much thicker, much wetter. My hands are now spotless. Red, I hope that's not an allergic reaction. Yeah, I'll be fine. Right, I'm going to now go rinse all of this out and see if the landing is dry or not because that really wasn't very wet at all. So I'll get all this rinsed and then we'll come back. So it's been about half an hour since we did this and it's dry. So I pop the Kirby back into vacuuming mode and let's see how it comes up. amazing that has brought the pile up a treat it feels softer than the bit next to it that we haven't done that's actually very impressive I've never used that before I feel perhaps we should do a bigger carpet shampoo video I've learned how to use it now this carpet's probably knocking on for 50 years old and it's it's amazing that's, that is astonishing it's not obviously brand brand new, but it's got pile again. Wow, that's very good. Yeah, I think we'll be doing another bigger shampooing video at some point in the future. Right, let's sum up. So, wow. That is mightily impressive. I think half of the reason it's so impressive is these very stiff brush rolls. Obviously on the upright style wet and dry carpet shampooers, they have these sort of brush rolls, so they have two or three, and it really does make a difference. But I am astonished at how well the Kirby shampoo did big everything up, so I've never used it before. I didn't use it with my G5, I didn't have any shampoo, and I never bought any. But that's pretty, pretty good. I obviously haven't used Kirby Spot Remover, but I think there will be another video coming where I do a much, much larger area. Refill it a few times. Basically, we'll use this bottle up and I shall probably get some more because this is for 1997. Would be slightly interesting to see what stuff from 2017 18 is like. So, there we go, everything is washed, well, rinsed, rinsed and drying. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. We should do a larger demo of this. I shall count this as part 2A. Part one was the small tools. Part two A is learning to use the shampooer. We'll do a part two B at some point in the future, downstairs in the big bits of carpet. So for now, from the Legend 2 and the Kirby carpet shampoo, we could even add a little bit of scuttle to the mix. I'm sure I've read that somewhere. We'll have a go. But for me, for now, 
I'm Vinda Kirby. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.